Hey guys, this is Brendan with another Bitcoin video. In this video, I want to quickly talk about a great tool for creating offline Bitcoin wallets and secure Bitcoin wallets, uh, and uh, also for signing offline transactions, uh, just being very secure, uh, very covert uh, with your Bitcoin uh, address. That tool is BitKey, uh, which can be found at bitkey.io. We're gonna install it to a jump drive like this. You could also burn it to a, uh, a DVD. And uh, all the, it has just full of a bunch of offline tools that help you manage uh, your Bitcoin private keys. And so the idea is you use it on an offline computer that's not connected to the internet, uh, and then you can you can sign transactions or just generate uh, you know grab your public key but just keep your private key private, and then you just share that public key on a computer that is connected to the internet uh, to receive payments. Or you can sign a transaction and then broadcast that transaction on an internet connected computer without exposing your private key. Um, check out some of my other videos if you wanna learn more maybe about that or, or do some more reading online about how that all works. But we're just gonna show some of the tools of this, uh, the features of this tool, I guess you could say. So it's BitKey, so if you just do a search for BitKey, and, uh, or you can just go to bitkey.io is the website. And we're gonna go ahead and just download it. So it's an image file I already have it downloaded, but we just download it like this, save it to the computer. Uh, it takes about five minutes on my internet connection. It's a four, about a 445 megabyte download. I'm just gonna stop this download because I already have it. Uh, and then we'll need some way to write it. If you wanna burn it uh, to a DVD, I recommend the software Infra Recorder. Um, and then you just download the software, install it, and then you burn it as an image. So you don't wanna like write the data to it, you wanna burn it as an image. And same with the jump drive. So if I go to my downloads, this one that I already have uh, completed, uh, I just did it not long ago. Where is it? So it's gonna look like this when it's done. Um, it's just a, is it an image, an ISO file? It's a, yeah, dot, dot .iso file. So if we were to just put the jump drive in right now, which I guess I'll do, and if we, we could, we don't want to just drag it into here, right? Because it's a, an image file. We actually have to write it. So we need a, a piece of software to do that. And the piece of software we're going to use on Windows is Win32 Disk Imager. Win32 Disk Imager. You can download that at SourceForge. If you're using Linux, you can just use like DD. Um, there, there's some other tools. But uh, on Windows, we'll use Win32 Disk Imager. Go ahead and download this. Uh, I already have this as well. It'll run through like an installation process. Oh, and then one more thing actually that we'll wanna do, I'll go ahead and save that file, is here when we downloaded it, somewhere I saw this, where was it? When we, when we went to the downloads page. Oh yeah, so here it is. We have this cryptographic signatures. So you'll wanna verify your download too, and unless you're just playing around, but if you're gonna actually store money on a wallet that you create here, go ahead and download this, uh, look here, and we can, uh, I found it, what, what was it? Uh, if you just search Windows, um, SHA-256 uh, check, something like that. Yeah, it's this one from SourceForge, it's called Quick Hash uh, GUI. So we're gonna download this. I already have it downloaded as well. It's kind of lots of steps here. You don't have to. You don't have to do this last part, but uh, what it does. So this quick hash. I have it downloaded right, right here. So we're gonna open it, and it lets us check the file for for integrity. Check and make sure it hasn't been um, tampered with. So the developers uploaded a hash of the file, and our hash that we're now doing should match the hash that the, of the latest uh, version that we've downloaded. Otherwise, it's possible that someone could get in the middle there and tamper with the file so that it gives us like pre-generated private keys and we don't want that. So we just wanna make sure this highlighted number here, uh, it's a hash, uh, matches this hash here. And it looks like it does. We can copy it actually. We can copy and paste it in there this is the expected hash. What do we do? Just hit enter. Hashing complete. Uh, anyway, I, I'm not sure how this program even works, but uh, it's it's the same. It's the same hash. So awesome. So now we're going to go to Win32 Disk Imager. 
Actually, I'm going to break this video up into two parts. I'm going to do one of just showing the software and one of just showing you exactly how to get, uh, get it onto the jump drive or the media that you're doing. But we're going to select the image. So it doesn't show up by default. We have to click here and go to view all files, kind of. And then here it is. It says turnkey dash bitkey one four point one point zero at the time of this video. So and then we, where do we want to write it to? So I'm going to write it to this USB drive E. It's a drive. It already has some stuff on it. It's going to erase everything on the drive that you select. You want to make sure you don't do. I guess not even letting me do my hard drive. But on my other computer, I have a solid state hard drive, and it does show up as an option. So if you do that, it'll like erase everything on your computer. So be very careful with this tool. Make sure you're writing to the correct drive. So verify E and E. Okay, awesome. And then you just click uh, write. I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to write it to this one exactly. But uh, yeah, that's how you write it to the USB drive. This is actually, I guess, more or less just a tutorial on how to download an image file and write it to a USB drive. Um, but anyway, um, check out the next video where I will actually show you how to boot into uh, this tool and use it for creating some uh, a Bitcoin wallet. And I'll show you some of the other tools as well on there. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.